I once saw a tweet by a music guy that I follow about how people often overlook the significance of music in their media. I replied in agreement and said that there had been multiple times when an opening song was the only reason I was able to get through an anime. I know a lot of people skip openings to animes and claim that they're a waste of time, but I like to listen to them, see how they showcase what's good about the show, and appreciate the craftsmanship that went into them. And in some cases, I get excited all over again every time I see the opening for another episode of a cool show. To go beyond anime though, over the past couple of years I've started playing fighting games. At one point I heard about Undernight in Birth and immediately wrote the game off because it was giving me light novel vibes, even though I really enjoyed the main character's design. I was thinking I already had Guilty Gear and Melty Blood and I didn't need any more anime fighters. But then I heard this. That alone made me take a second look at Undernight, buy the game, and go on to become a huge Undernight enthusiast. Hey! And it isn't easy to get me to buy things. There's lots of other things that I enjoy about the game, but in a way, it's like this guy sold me a video game with one song. The power of music goes beyond media as well. Have you ever heard someone say whistle while you work? The idea behind the saying is that whistling or singing a song or something while doing something you don't want to do will make doing that task easier. That isn't always true, but I don't think that idea is something many people disagree with. I sing a song or something every time I do any kind of mundane task. And it isn't rare for me to sing the Gurren Lagann opening song to give myself the strength to get out of bed in the morning. American slaves used to do it. My parents do it. My friends do it. Militaries do it. You probably do it too. Why am I still listing all these? What I mean is that a song can reinforce a person's desire to do something. Give them strength on a metaphysical level. And... You know, this doesn't just apply to music either. There are simple sounds too that motivate people to do things in the same way that music does. I think people almost actively try to overlook sound because they can't look at it. You can't see sound unless maybe it's really loud and it only exists for a moment. So there isn't a lot of time to analyze it and try to understand it better. I think that's why so many people ignore sound or aren't even aware of it when they hear it in media or maybe in a lot of other cases too. They just aren't as cognizant of sound as they are about things that they can see. And I think this is something that probably everybody suffers with considering we use our eyes most of the time. Sound is important though. It's a big part of the human experience and a big reason why we do the things we do. It's the reason you woke up in the middle of the night. It's the reason you didn't take that step out into the street right in the path of a giant truck speeding around the corner onto MLK. It's the reason you're going to a fighting game tournament, so you won't be home to watch your sister so your grandmother's coming to babysit instead. All of that because once upon a time, you heard a certain sound. Alright, here we go. My favorite part is coming up. This is it. This part is the best. This is so good. You don't understand. Like, if you haven't seen this, if you know, you know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 